Hello Internet, welcome to Object Theory, the place where I do high effort theories for you to debunk or support. In BFDI, the characters species are based on real life objects, like Eraser being an eraser or Leafy being a lemon leaf. But then I wondered, what is puffball? Maybe a fuzzy ball, but in BFDI 5A, we see that puffball has an own species, more specifically when Pin stabs puffball's speaker box. So today, I'm going to show you how Puffball's anatomy works, including how she can fly, change colors, change sizes, etc. I'm your host, Diamond Juice, and I present to you, Puffball's anatomy is terrifying. The aspects we will analyze on Puffball are size change, color change when talking, levitation, flying, her auto-tuned voice, her fuzzy body, the rainbow barfing, her rainbow eyes, regurgitating a rainbow substance during times of distress, and the fact she can't do all of these abilities when getting taped. The aspects we will analyze on the puffball speaker box are color change when talking, her metal flinger, her fuzzy body, the ability to fly, and regurgitating a rainbow substance during times of distress, as well as keeping all of this in the fact that she was created by the announcer. So, let's start with puffball. First of all, her rainbow eyes were replicated by Needle without effort, so I doubt this is a unique characteristic of her species. As for the fuzzy body, I'm pretty sure this is hair, so yeah, Puffball could technically look like this. Next up, we have her voice. In this case, she has special vocal cords that have two functions. The first function is to give Puffball an auto-tuned voice, while the second one is to make vibrations to stimulate an inner gland that we're gonna call Rainbow Gland, but what does this gland do? Well, just as his name says, it creates a rainbow substance that connects to Puffball's body and her organs, more specifically, her stomach, but we will go to that later. So, this gland creates a liquid that filters through Puffball's body, in and out, yeah, through pores. The liquid goes out to the scalp, when her hair gets that multicolor aspect it's when it activates. To summarize, Puffball's vocal cords give her an autotune voice and generate vibrations that stimulate the rainbow gland, that generates a rainbow liquid that goes through pores and dyes Puffball's hair. So yeah, that's why she turns multicolor when she talks. Next up, we have the question on how she can throw her rainbow liquid. For example, when she barfs some pin and when she gives Nickel some cake. Well, I think Puffball has a vomit generator like Rocky, that way she can vomit the rainbow liquid that passes through her stomach. Just as I said earlier, but when Puffball suffers times of distress, she regurgitates the liquid involuntarily, like when she was hoping for Dream Island to be found. Same with Puffball's speaker box, who regurgitates the substance when she got stabbed, but stopped when Frismar took the knife out of her which means that the Puffball speaker box can vomit when she wants, like Puffball probably in a similar fashion to the announcer crying acid. Next up, we need to respond how can she fly, and to that we need to go to Puffball's final organ, this being a sack that has a jellyfish movement. This jellyfish movement will propel Puffball up through airports, causing Puffball to levitate doing an up and down movement. However, this isn't the organ's only function, because it can also inflate, like our lungs do by receiving air. By receiving air, the jellyfish organ will expand, causing Puffball to grow size, and by expelling air, Puffball will decrease her size. That's why she couldn't do any of these things when she got taped by 4. She couldn't open her mouth, restraining her ability to change size, since she couldn't get air. She couldn't change size because her airports were blocked, and she couldn't change color because she couldn't talk. Next up, we need to check Puffball's speaker box anatomy. First of all, the Puffball's speaker box can't change size, which means that she doesn't have the jellyfish organ, so how can she fly? Well, I suggest that Puffball's speaker box has a propeller inside here, not on her edge, because we don't see a visible part like the little platform that the fairy speaker box has. Next, how can she change colors when talking? Well, I think that Puffball speaker box is a normal speaker box with a Puffball leather like the tennis ball speaker box. 
which means that yeah maybe the announcer took the skin of a puffball with a functional rainbow blend since the puffball speaker box is just a normal speaker box we can suppose inside those wires is a metal flinger that every announcer has inside their body as well as a container to give cakes or soda like PSB did with bubble and finally I suppose that the puffball speaker box has a vomit machine like Rocky to vomit at pleasure like puffball and some type of eyes to see the point of view of puffball speaker box can actually be seen in BFDIA 8 so we can suppose that the puffball speaker box has some types of eyes not really eyes but something similar so I hope you enjoyed the video a pretty weird theory in my opinion but hey that's just a theory an object theory you can add stuff to the theory support the theory or try to debunk the theory in the comments also diamond juice is not an individual channel anymore since Han has will join the channel as the thumbnail designer thanks for everything and have a good day